All right. Let us step right into Riven, the sequel to Mist. Also, hi, Vox. Hi. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to Mist Simber, our uh, month-long Mistapalooza. What are some other wow. What are some other funny ways we can we can incorporate Mist into words? Mysterious. <laughs> Mystifying. There you, there's a good one. Mystique. Well, let's go ahead and start. Ubisoft. Cyan. Mm -hmm. Thank God you've returned. I need your help. Hi, Idris. How's it going, man? Hi, Rand. There's a great deal of history that you should know. But I'm afraid that I must continue my writing. Surprise face. Yes. <laughs> Most of what you'll need to know is in there. Keep it well hidden. I like his voice. Hi, Narame. Hello, Narame. For reasons you'll discover, I can't send you to Riven with a way out. But I can give you this. It appears to be a linking book. Back here to Dunny. But it's actually a one-man prison. You'll need it, I'm afraid, to capture Gan. Once you've found Catherine, signal me, and I'll come with a linking book to bring us back. So, can I just say, I have never, I have never played through Mist before, and I had no idea what Atris sound like, also a chance, sounded like. If this all goes well, that I might be able to get you back. But I, that you came from. I also was really, really close with how I figured he sounded. <laughs> <laughs> Only really found it up like we found it up like first. Hold, really hold on one second, it's it's a little loud. You, you only really found out what Atris sounded like um at the start of the of Mist uh with his message to Catherine, but it was so quick you really I yeah, you didn't really get a chance to figure anything out about his voice. Hi there. How you doing? I don't know what you're saying, sir. Sir, can you just, uh, like, pull that lever over there? Sir, don't, don't, sir, sir. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need that. Yep, he took the trap, fuck. Did he just get hit on the head? Probably sure again. 
Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Riven. Uh, yeah, I see that. <laughs> <laughs> Seems a mite dangerous. In fairness, he did just uh, nick, um, your, uh, my, nick your MacGuffin. Uh, yeah, but... <laughs> and now this person is this as well. Ah, uh, don't, no, don't, oh, don't do that. Oh, you're never going back in that cell. Say what? You're never going back in that cell. No, oh, is that what he was breaking? Oh, okay. He broke the lever, he jammed the lever, lever open, you can actually look at the lever up close. Oh, okay, I thought he was doing that to the book, I was, I was a little concerned. Okay, so he... I see. Okay, he jammed his, his shuriken into there. That's what she said. This looks a little bit like a rocket. Like a giant scope of some kind. Yeah, maybe like a giant telescope. Interesting. That that's a bit of a drop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's All right. Stay away. Yeah, just uh, kind of stay far, far away from that. Uh. No. I wanted to click see. To the left, click to the left of the uh, prison. Of the prison. I mean, from when you're facing the prison, uh, this uh, click left. Or yeah, I guess just. Continue up the path a little bit. Not, and then... Yeah, it, it it wasn't letting me. Uh, it wasn't letting me click it. Yeah, just continue on a screen, I guess. Oh, nice, Narame. I'll have to tune in for that. I've got. I I actually sent you a uh, a follow on your channel, so I was I didn't know how often you uh you streamed. Okay, yeah, that doesn't look like it's doing much uh this is super cool i like these oh yes you still have interest's journal on in your inventory i have an inventory now how do i access that uh, just highlight the bottom of the screen ah 87 6 10 they held for more than 30 years but the corrections i made to riven have finally failed the island has resumed the familiar pattern of decay that is the hallmark of my father's work. I must now race to implement this new patch before it's too late. I only hope that my revised theories are sound. Hello, Don. I am good. How are you? If I sound weird today, everybody, it's because I had a seizure last night, so my tongue's bitten, and I'm talking through clenched teeth, clenched teeth right now. Yeah. So I don't uh, hurt myself further. I'm sorry that you had that last night, but I'm glad I'm glad that you're still able to be here. Mm hmm. The real truth is, I tied Dan to a chair and forced him to do this, right? Despite the fact that we live thousands of miles away from each other. Yep. Psychic. Ooh. Hey, that, that sucks, Don. Dimension door and mage hand combination. Yeah. 87 6 16. Revisions to Riven completed. There are still a number of minor adjustments which need to be made, but the basic corrections have been entered and should be working. Something's not right. I've been monitoring the instruments for several hours now, but have thus far observed no change. It's possible that I've made an error. Though I've checked my entry against my pre-notation and can find no discrepancy, I've not had a rest in nearly three days, so it may be that. I'm just not seeing if the fault is 
within my foundational assumptions. However, perhaps after a short rest, I will see something. Oh, something just something just happened. Thank you for the host, Narame. Yeah, definitely don't don't eat raw meat. <laughs> it's just not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that you're fine now. Eighty-seven six eighteen, success. It appears that my repairs have been effective after all. The gateway image has become noticeably clearer, and although it is impossible to know this with absolute certainty, the island seems to have quieted itself. Just a few more weeks. Should be hosted loads. Need to restart browser. Okay, no problem. Just a few more weeks of work, and I should be free at last to go there myself and attempt to bring Catherine back. The past eight months have left me little time to think, to devise a strategy for getting her out of there. I have received no sign from her in all that time. I am afraid that... No, I must assume that she is all right, lest my fears undermine my efforts to bring her back. 87619 I did not create the Age of Riven. Unlike my father, I have never presumed to have such power, and yet... The future of all those who live there has fallen into my hands. So far, I've managed to read the page before it turns. The island continues to appear stable, and I would like to believe that I have saved a dying world. But the theories of one individual cannot support the lives of real people indefinitely. I must get everyone off of Riven as soon as possible. The problem now is Gain. Gain. Gain, thank you. No problem, Nerame. I'll never be able to rescue Catherine and relocate the islanders if he is still the man he once was. I haven't seen him in over thirty years, but his history forces me to assume that he is still a threat. His myopic mission to restore the Denis civilization has left too many innocent cultures dying in its wake, and would continue to do so, were he to once again be free of the confines of Riven, or the Fifth Age as he coldly titled it. There are transcripts online. If if I have problems with Catherine's writing, I may look up the transcripts. Thank you. The universe has been safe from his corruptive influence for the last 33 years because no one has been able to leave that age. The last linking I, book... What's up? I was going to say, Narame, I did, I did tell Miogo during the start of the missed playthrough that Catherine's writing is is illegible as hell. <laughs> yeah, Narame, if uh, if uh, if it is as as bad as everybody says, then I will ask for a link. I appreciate that. The last linking book. Say it's really hard to tell her F's from her S's. <laughs> That's pretty bad. <laughs> The last linking book out of Riven, having been lost to the Starfisher upon my return to Mist. That was my intention, to maroon my father on Riven by removing all of the existing links to the other worlds. And since the art of constructing books has long been lost with the fall of the Denis, he would be trapped there for the remainder of his lifetime, and effectively segregated from the countless other worlds that he would have invaded. Gain is his f or Gen is his father? Yes. Uh, I was mentioned if um, really in in fleeting path like a fleeting line or or, or two in mist mentioned that Atrus's father's name was Gen. Okay, I I didn't I remember him talking a tiny bit like in one or two of the books like a yeah as he said like a line about his father but I, I don't remember the name. Yeah. Well. But, yeah. 30 years of uh, being uh, estranged from each other. Yeah. In effect, that is what we achieved. But the way it fell, however, was no one's ideal. Though the sting of the incident has gradually faded from my memory, the deep pain of the responsibility for what actually came to be has never left me. At the time, it all seemed so clear. Gen's destructive path could not be allowed to continue. Mist is, Mist is actually not canon. Canon starts from Riven. Interesting. We, yeah, 
That's especially interesting considering that the reason that Atris knows you is because of Mist. Yeah, he rescued it him. Yeah, that's that's literally why he says, "Ah, you've returned, my friend," it is because you met him at Mist. Uh, it's where was I? I say that the the Mist novel is more canon than the game. But Riven the game is more canon than the Riven novel. Ah, uh, I see. But it was never my choice that the innocent inhabitants of Riven, who had already suffered so much, would be the ones to pay for it. Enough. To dwell in the past is to die in the present. The situation is not the same as it was then. The knowledge I've acquired in the years since that time has yet to be applied to this problem. 87, 6, 20. I think I have the solution. Why it did not occur to me sooner, I do not know, unless the idea of it had been pushed out with the thought of my sons. A prison book. Many years ago, during a hunting expedition through the ruins of Denis, I chanced upon a formula for a most unusual type of book. Unfortunately, due to the fact that my father was then in the habit of confiscating my discoveries, I was forced to leave it behind. Years later, however, as part of my efforts to protect the vulnerable worlds linked to the books in my library, I was pleased to find that I could still recall most of the formula, and with little experimentation quickly succeeded in creating one of these devices myself. The procedure is actually quite simple. By altering key lines of text, but slightly, a normal linking book's connection can be partially severed such that anyone who attempts to use the book will be permanently trapped in the dark void of the link. That is, unless someone else then uses the book, at which point that person would become trapped, and the first person displaced back into the world. Thus the red and, bo and blue books. Yep, and the, and, the two, and the two bad endings where you got trapped. Exactly. The technique can be applied to books that have already been written, changes to the original text being so slight that anyone who is unfamiliar with the code will be unable to detect them. If indeed my father has not changed, what better bait could there be than a book that appeared to be a link back here to Denis? 8772. It's a long book, by the way. You don't have to read it all at once. <laughs> uh, we'll go through a bit of it. Because I have, I, this, this is one book. It doesn't, like, get bigger, right? No. Okay. But there are other, uh, there are other book, uh, notebooks you find throughout the game, mostly written by Gen. Sure, um, but I, I need to, I'll have to read through this eventually anyway. Mm. Trouble. My nightly analysis of the island's condition has revealed that the tremors have begun again. The pattern, however, is new. The disturbances are the result of the changes I have made. This did not, at first, concern me, however. Tremors of this type were one of the possible side effects that I had anticipated during this initial phase of the island's readjustment. Still, in order to verify my assumptions, I decided to calculate again, incorporating the new data. The results were not what I expected. The damage to the understructure is more extensive than I'd realized. I can no longer go to Riven as planned. Catherine, forgive me. 8773. I must act while I still have the time. The signs are barely visible, but there's no question that the island's deterioration is accelerating. Total collapse is imminent, unless I can keep ahead, and that is becoming increasing. Ah, that's what he's writing. Right? Yeah, is he's he... uh, trying to keep Riven from falling apart. Right, okay. 8775. With every passing moment, I gain a clearer picture of the incredible chaos that my father's economy of words has yielded, but it is a dismaying process. The complexity of the problem is overwhelming. There is no end to this. The last few days have all but convinced me that the collapse of Riven is inevitable, and that, at best, I can only strive to delay it now, and hope that at some point the island will become stable enough to risk a rescue attempt. 8777. I think I've come up with a way to subdue the tremors. It will require my exclusive attention for at least a month or two, so it may be necessary to discontinue these journal entries for a while. 
and then like a week later there's another yeah. entry <laughs> Something truly miraculous has happened. Beyond all conceivable probability, someone has finally found my lost missed linking book and has freed me from this prison. I immediately realized that this could be the solution to my dilemma, and I believe my mysterious benefactor is willing to assist me. I'm still not sure it can work. The logistics of such a scheme are formidable, but the mere fact that it may now be possible for me to continue my repairs to Riven and yet proceed with my original intent to find Catherine has given me renewed hope. 87716. The last few days have left me little time to work out the remaining problems with sending someone else to Riven. It did occur to me, however, that if a way could be found to signal me once Gain again had been captured, I keep wanting to call that Gain because of the way it's spelled. It's G E H N. Exactly. It would be it would no longer be necessary to take a real linking book to Riven and risk the possibility of inadvertently releasing Gen. The deteriorated state of the gateway image makes the use of a visual si signal impossible, but the picture remains a reliable indicator of Riven's condition nonetheless. By measuring and interpreting variations in the noise patterns, <clears throat> excuse me, I am still able to observe basic changes that occur in the age, even though I cannot see them. The problem is that my instruments can only detect changes that occur on a fundamental level, and it seems unlikely that an individual could affect such an God damn, sorry. Such an elementary change from within an age. The idea may be foolish. Still, there is a known weakness that may be worth investigating. An anomaly that appears as a rift between two separate systems. The Starfisher. But how, or even if, this fact could be exploited, I cannot say. Sending someone to Riven also means that once I received the signal that they were ready to return, I would have to leave my writing in order to take a real linking book there myself. However, provided my father was safely out of the way, this should take very little time. After that, assuming the island does not incur much damage in my absence, it should then be a relatively simple matter to hold it together long enough for Catherine to return to Riven and evacuate the remaining islanders. Predetermining a signal without knowing the topography of the island may prove to be impossible, but I'm afraid there can, only, there can be only one answer to the question of whether or not I should send my friend Riven with a way out. The potential for failure will be greatly diminished if the prison book is all that is taken there. I'm sure my father is expecting me to bring, to bring a linking book to Riven. May he not be disappointed. Okay. That's what I thought would happen. I see a porthole. So, I'm seeing a scarab, a star, and some writing on the wall. Uh, let me... Welcome back. Welcome back. Let... let me... Hold on, uh... What did I miss? Oh. I rotated this thing and looked through a porthole. Uh, scarab column. Uh... All the columns in that room are scarab or have scarabs on them. Okay, then I'll just call that scarab room so that I can keep track of where this particular note is being taken. That'll work. You see that number, or you see that symbol on the floor at the bottom? Yeah, it looks... That's the, that's the number one, or five, actually. It's just on an angle. Oh, huh, interesting. It's a horizontal line. Uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah Dan Dan kind of told me a, told me like one digit of the uh, Denis uh, numbering system which no more about it I kind of agree with Narame yeah yeah sorry got overexcited
I have no idea what's useful, so I'm drawing out this star. Also, save off, save often. Yeah, that's fair. Save Game. Vandroth. Resume. Okay, I think I've got that recorded. All right. Hello, Nerovac. Hello, Nerovac. The sound of that stone rumbling is very pleasing to my head, and I don't know why. So there's so that that star is over there. Interesting. What does uh, Shora mean, Nerame? I'm assuming it's a form of hello, but what uh, what language is that, if I may ask? I'm very curious. Shura is peace. Oh, okay, it's a Dene greeting. Nice. Alright, so, welcome to your, your self-titled Scarab Room. Interesting. Wow, okay then. <laughs> yeah, that's the Dene alphabet. You don't need to know that. <laughs> Yet. Um, yeah. There we go. There's the way out. It's a bit like Salam in Hebrew and Arabic. Shora Bashimti. Interesting. You can look in the scarabs, actually. Wait, really? Yep. Uh, they're not just decorative, decoration. Oh. Nice. Okay. <laughs> From the way that dude's nose is, that kind of looks like Squidward to me. <laughs> Squidward has ascended at last! <laughs> Looks like some dude cast someone into the fissure. Alright, I'll look at those another time. Save and then sit in it. <laughs> I don't like that. I'm gonna sit in it. <laughs> Interesting. Was there a did I miss a lever here? No. like a microphone there. Pay attention to these very closely and overthink them a hundred times more than you think. Not a such a for the game, but Riven is extremely good in environmental storytelling. Which one you're used to in games you'll admit. I I thought that those symbols, or the uh, the stained glass, or whatever the hell they were, looked a lot like it was trying to tell a story of something that happened. It looked like somebody got thrown into what I'm assuming is the star fissure. That's an interest interesting sound. Is there anything 
else. Just a little bit, right? Say what? Never mind. I thought you were gonna come back because the screen was blurry. So. I I thought it. I thought the same for a second as well. This is interesting. Looks like somebody was giving sacrifices to these creatures, or whatever this was supposed to be. And there was the door that we opened up. Oh, and that's where the other camera was looking. Okay. I might try to make those transitions a little bit faster. Yeah, I'm going to make those transitions just a little bit faster. Okay, so... so am, am I... Am I about to play monkey ball? Is that is that what's about to happen with this course? <laughs> Why not? That's what, that's what it feels like, is I'm about to play monkey ball. <laughs> you want to press the big blue button? I tried to. Oh, okay, there we go. Yes! <laughs> I was hoping I'd see that in the background. Nice, that's kind of cool. Say it, say that again. Welcome to your main method of transportation between the islands. Uh, then I feel like I should explore the rest of this before I, uh, before I leave. I feel like there is more to this path that I'm not seeing. Uh, oh, hey, another shuriken. Ha! <laughs> we can just go under the door. Oh, hey. This is looking into another, another section. Okay. Then, wait a minute. Oh, I see. Okay. Then, wait a minute. Was that was that the only one that saw something like red move over here? Was that just me? Okay. I do see weird shit out of the corner of my eyes every so often, so not surprising. This goes a little further. Hi there. Ah, that goes to that thing. I don't know what that is. I tell me. That sounds like it's opening the uh, the other two gates in here.
did. Well, it opened that gate anyway. Behind this gate is another gate. It's another gate. <laughs> I like these kinds of puzzles, the, uh, shifting room puzzle. Okay, so it's that same entryway there. Sound of the stone moving. Okay, what were you saying? I just skipped, skipped the transition. Oh, yeah, oh. I forgot I can do that. There we go. On the first few times, with how often you are coming back. Yeah. How often you backtrack in this game. Yeah, it wouldn't be fun doing that over and over again. Hi, Tetris. That's interesting. I don't know what that is or what I'm messing with yet, so I'm not gonna mess with that just yet. Wait a minute. That looks like it's a panel. Like it should do, do something. Yeah, it was missing a button. Yeah. Okay, let's try opening that then. Currently in what's called the Golden Dell. I see. The center of those islands. You know what? Uh, let's see. Golden Dome. me just a moment taking a note here since it's a little harder to see the screenshots than it is to just draw the shit out <laughs> that other thing looks like the looks like the catwalk yeah that little yellow line going around it Activated a valve that goes down. Interesting. Assuming I won't see anything in that until I figure out how to open this. <laughs> Unfortunately. 
Unfortunately and admittedly, I am not super amazing at coming up with silly little names. Sometimes they come to me and I get a really good one, but uh, now nah, most of the time I just tend to go with whatever I see. I suppose if I'm uh, just getting, if I'm not being told what the names are, I might come up with silly stuff. Like, like this honestly just looks like a fish mobile to me. All aboard the fish coaster! Forward! Maglev train. Right, so fish coaster. Got it. <laughs> Definitely coaster. We <laughs> literally just jumped off of that hill for a second. Staircase button. Okay. Uh, let me see. Eyeball stone. I thought that's what I saw. K I. Nothing over there. What about... Is there really nothing to this stone? It's weirdly not actually there when you look at the cave, because that is not that. <laughs> Go up one more and look back. Say what? Go down once and look out. Yeah, it's not, it's not actually there. Because that, no, that's in front of the staircase. But if you go here, that's to the side of the staircase. There's nothing in front of it. Little, little bit of a discrepancy there. Okay, that just keeps looking back behind me. Button! And button! Okay, fine. Let's go up. This is really cool. I like this. In reality, I fucking hate all these bugs, but I still enjoy seeing this. Oh, geez, my cat's being a bitch again. <laughs> Hello there, little scarab. How are you? Or you can fly away too. The door just closed behind me. Hi, little scarab. Hello there, angry fish totem. Shark bait, hoo ha ha! <laughs> nice little red lighting with that. Nope, that's going back the other way. Easy to get turned around here. Yeah. Hello up there. That that doesn't seem good. 
that that sounds like an alarm. little view of the ocean. Hi everybody! Evacuating your village? I know, right Narame? I'm a- I'm not even like a giant disembodied hand, I am just a disembodied hand. <laughs> no panic in these people, that person was just like power walking. <laughs> <laughs> We're very scared of you, little Timothy. You get over here. That's super cool. A hole in the water. Yeah. yeah. Here's a little Easter egg. Oh. Go up the ladder. Okay. This, le this, this Easter egg has like does has nothing to do with the plot or anything. Just keep okay. going up. Uh-huh. Go to that hut. Knock Go. on the door five times. Uh, there we go. Uh-huh. Wait. Oh. Hi. Yep, just a little Easter egg. Easily missed. Oh, okay. Um, have you heard the word of Jesus? I heard that. That was the dog creaking. No, somebody said something and then somebody shushed them. Like I said, just an Easter egg. Yeah, that's, thank you. Uh... How do you get to that house? Somebody has to extend the bridge. Presumably, somebody forgot to, uh... to pull their bridge back in. Did somebody say submarine? <laughs> Did somebody say tank? No, I'm just kidding. Pull every lever until something works. I still love that in Dungeons and Dragons there is actually an item, the apparatus of Qualish, where the way you figure out how it works is to just pull every lever until you until you see what it does. <laughs> Bang on the bongo drums. Someone's cooking dinner. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. Okay, nope. I thought I saw something, but I didn't. So there's, there's a lever down there. Less of a lever, more of a latch. Ah. All right, let's go this way. Oh, that just leads back to here. Okay. Uh... Okay, downstairs now. <laughs> Charlie! It's a Leo Pluridon, Charlie! It's a magical Leo Pluridon! You scared them off, yeah, moved. 
Oh, I actually have to move slowly for that? Okay. Yeah. Don't worry, they'll be back eventually. Okay, well that's good. We have to we have to find the magical Leo Pluridon to take us to Candy Mountain. Nope, nothing back yet. Okay. Go further back in. Yeah. Go back down to the bubble car, bubble car thing. To the fish coaster? Yeah, go back to the fish coaster, then come back if you want to go with the uh, see what the big Neoporodon thing do. <laughs> I mean, obviously they show us the way to Candy Mountain, dude. Alright. Okay. Long. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Let them put their heads back down. Wait for it. Wait for it. Hi! You actually look slightly terrifying from up close. I feel like I'm- I feel like I'm gonna like reach out a hand and you're just gonna fucking bite it off. No, but you do need to take note of that sound I made. Uh... I don't know how to describe it. Wark? It is not a chocobo. That's me. No, if you look at some of the games, the, what they say is wark, but the sound is completely different. But it, like the the uh, the word for what they I've they use for it is wark. I've seen them use we or que. I've heard I've heard que. Oh, let's see. So what am I doing right now? Uh, that is up to you. You're one. To, you're you're the one wandering around. Yeah. Hold on. I want to get to that thing. To that thing. Mm, you can't. Oh. But I want to. It's right there out of my reach, too. <laughs> Interesting scenery. Time for the minecart! The minecart roller coaster. Going under the water. Yep. Hi, Otamatoon! In a minecart. Yeah, in a super freaking fast minecart. Oh my god. I love roller coasters in video games. I can't stand them in real life. I would be, I would be out of my fucking mind in that thing. I mean, Dan, you're you're the one that was like It wasn't even really a hint, you just straight up said take note of that. <laughs> oh no. Okay. So, let me uh let me just experience the ah. Experience the world for for a little bit. Uh... Interesting, interesting. Well, that's what you got dumped in. Huh. 
All right then. Wood chipper from the looks of the pile. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it it is a wood chipper. You're right. <laughs> oh, well, boy. aren't we glad it wasn't running? Yeah, dodge that bullet. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. All right then. I'm very glad that wasn't going. <laughs> That's that's one defense mechanism against invaders. <laughs> yes, please. Take our supersonic uh, minecart. Don't worry about what's at the end though. Well, that's obviously way too hot to go into. That goes out to there. Okay. Okay. So oh, that... Oh, oh. It looks like we stopped the boiling. Now we can go inside. Um. I think I gotta drain that first, in which case... Go to there... Something happened. This looks like a platform raised. And here. What is Okay, that's that's the flame, yeah. That going down to there leads over to that, okay. So then this this should be something now. Wait, anyway, how are you doing, Otomatoon? Yeah, okay, so that, that raised platform, but there's still water inside. I haven't drained it yet. So... In order to drain it... Nice, you'll have to, you'll have to share some more of that, that art with me. You're really good. There's another ladder over there. Mm. Okay, so... Yeah, we need to solve something somewhere else to lower that, I think. Something up here, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so then maybe I 
Maybe if I this. turn the lever in that direction. Absolutely. And feel free, uh, Automatoon, in the uh, in the Discord in the art room. Feel free to share your your artwork there. I created it for any anybody's artwork of anything, not like just fan art or anything like that. No, no hatch open there. Okay. What about... Hold on. That one goes up to there. That pipe leads over to there. That pipe leads all the way over there. This pipe leads to the wood chipper. Almost looks like there's a path over there. There is that ladder, but I think that that just goes up to the minecart, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That just goes back to the minecart. So, pull that back here. Goes up and around that, which goes out to there. Oh, ah, there we go. Aha! Oh, no. Say what? Muzzle top. <laughs> now, if I put that back, does it refill? I'm assuming it does. Nope. Yep, yep, there it goes. But maybe not if I close that valve. Okay, so switch that back, let it drain away, and then... I probably don't have to mess with that again, but we'll see. I'm not going to mess with that just yet. Let's go inside and see if there's more. Yay, victory stickers! God, it hurts to eat right now. I can imagine. Especially after biting a tongue. Uh-huh. Uh... Whew, okay, good. I did get out of it. Oh! Hi! Let's not! Uh, excuse you? What? No. Go... Go back... Down the tunnel. Pretty sure you can jump onto the light and blow I might not be remembering it correctly, but... I did not even see a ledge. Well, anyway. Oh, there was... Oh, okay, there was a ledge there. Okay. Ah, and this leads to that. Okay. Okay. 
then pull that up for a shortcut. All right. No, don't, don't, don't close that. And then into the wizard's inner sanctum we go. Oh, hey, there's like squirrel food there. That's one of the pipes. Okay, hold on. Uh, that one. That one seemed right. And now you don't have to worry about going under that tunnel anymore. Yeah. Lying right under it. Off you go. I don't know where you're going or what you're doing. I fully expect to hear the sound of a rancor eating whatever that nut was. That kind of thing? <laughs> yeah, sure! Just fucking savaging that, uh, that device. Go down like that. Blocked, but why? to that for now because I don't know if that's purely to activate the wood chipper or if that goes to the mine cart too uh I don't I don't know what else I'm doing right here I feel like I'm not done here but I don't know what else I'm doing here well, I can't tell you because well, bitch I think, for now, I'm done here. I'm done in this specific section until I figure out... Yeah. Yeah, until I figure out what it is that I'm looking for there. just such a staple track, you know? Especially if you're 
say what? This person is very, um, okay, I was about to say, this person is very clearly not obeying the rules of keep your arms and legs inside the machine at all times. <laughs> all right, kitties, you ready for the hill? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, never made. It's just a, it's just a floating hand somehow keeping up with the thing. Okay, so that went over to to that island, which was connected via that walkway. Which I never, I didn't find out how to get to that walkway from that first island. Uh, interesting that one of those lamps is missing a, uh, a thing. I know, right? Isn't isn't the isn't the fish coaster super cute? Now, funnily enough, I absolutely fucking hate roller coasters, but I think this kind of a thing I would be totally fine with because I'm in a fully enclosed space with the maglev train, whereas a roller coaster, I always fucking feel like I'm about to be thrown the fuck off of those things, and I hate that feeling so much. Open that door back up. Uh. Hi. Um. Gen? Gen. Talk to me, Gen. I feel like you're Gen. Strange that all of these doors are closed all of a sudden. So I still haven't figured out how to get that open. Yeah, like some roller, yeah, you know, some roller coasters can be kind of fun. Um, the local, I don't, want, I don't want to say theme park, but uh, attraction park, I guess. Uh, called Carowinds here in South Carolina. They have one of the oldest roller coasters that is still functional. Um, actually, I think they may have they may have taken it down recently, but uh, it wasn't super fast, and the hills weren't absolutely ridiculous. So that one was good, but most other ones, no, I I I can't do that shit. Ah, okay, so that's so that's the dome, right? 
So we went down that. But that's not lowering that. And then that's doing something with that bridge. But nothing's happening there. Ow. You okay? Yeah. Did your cat suddenly jump on you? Uh. No, I carries her up here because she misses the leg right now. <laughs> okay, so that's an elevator. But I don't have the button for that. Wait a minute. No? Okay, never mind. What did you see? Go back to the dome. I think I saw something. Okay. What's Turn up? Around. On the wall. Right. Oh, I completely missed that. Thank you. Okay, so that's raising that bridge up. Turning it into a staircase. That's interesting. What? I just I just noticed it now, thanks. No, no no no. To to be f not Narame, that to be fair, he is here like if I specifically lose track of a detail or I skip over something and don't realize it, that's partially what he's there for. Have a good night, Naravek. That wasn't, uh, that wasn't a spoiler. That was him being like, hey, there's this detail that you've completely not noticed. But not quite on it was there. Okay, so that lever is not present here. Hmm. I guess it doesn't really serve us at this point. Yeah. Can't get out of here without it. Side of this, that would be kind of cool. Yeah, I wish. Yeah, that's what I would do. If I was in this, fuck it. I'm terrified of heights. No, nah, I'm still gonna go around the edge of that dome as far as I can. All right. Well, Narame, uh, if you if you are, uh, I actually will be doing in another game in 30 minutes. Uh, 
because we were only going to do this for about two hours to start with. I'm probably going to switch over to Yakuza Kiwami, which has been a lot of fun. Seems like everybody's been enjoying that. Ah, fair enough. Have a good one. The book, right. The art of bookmaking. Yeah, there, there, there was a picture of the boiler there. How Gen writes in the books, and life comes from them. I'm assuming Gen, anyway. Gen and his ex his extremely long Squidward nose. No ego on this one. Hey, no, definitely not. Was that that one or yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's him casting someone into what I assume is the starfisher, considering it is a fisher and there are stars, little tiny stars all over the place. Again, five peoples. Looks like teaching, building, either fighting or backstabbing. There's the symbols from the Golden Dome and paper coming off of the tree. Say what? Right yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't know, this is just what I'm inferring from the pictures. Yeah, I mean, it, it makes as much sense as anything else. Hmm. that I can look up here. Yeah, so you can marble up the golden dome. Yeah, fair. <laughs> See, that's, that's showing the pipes for that one puzzle. They're not. No, that's right. They weren't yeah. in this yeah. this particular room. What's up? Nothing left here at the moment, I think. Another back entrance. To the people a sec. Ah. So it's showing that door, which we didn't we didn't figure out how to open that door. Mm. I realized something as well. Was there Okay, no, we just go across the board. And then that shows the opening of the cave. Uh, the valve through the telescope thingy. Say what? Just to the valve with the telescope thing, as I recall. Correctly. Yeah. No problem, Motomatoon. Eat slowly and carefully. I remember getting my wisdom teeth 
pulled out, and that was super fucking painful to eat afterwards. Okay, so now... Nothing's changed here, okay? Yeah, sounds different. That cat. Nick's <laughs> <laughs> either working or with his boyfriend right now. Okay, so now these rooms open up to here. Yeah, we gotta find what opens the door. I think... There was a button on the wall there, perhaps you could have... No, I think I have this go around one more time. <laughs> Say what? Still press escape to skip the transition. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Thank you. Okay, so that goes to there. There is a button on this wall, though. I cannot skip that one because technically it's only sound. So there's only two doors in there, and they're at a, like, 75 degree, or no, at like an 85 degree angle from each other. They're roughly in there about. Now, both of these have these levers. That lowers that one. Okay, so then that's a puzzle I probably already solved. My best guess is we have to get to that door from the other side. Hmm. No, you're right. I do. I need to be in the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I messed that up. I need to be in that other, uh, that other chamber. The one that I just fucking moved this away from. Right, that just takes me outside. <sighs> right, so that is there. Should be one, maybe two more for another uh, another entrance. Okay, one more. Okay, right there. That's where I wanted it to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so there's, there's technically two chambers or two doorways that I can access from each of these doorways, and I have to figure out what those are. Say what? 
got a map on the building already. Uh, kind of, but not quite. No, because I've got a, I've got a map of the Golden Dome. Um, but I I didn't make a map of this room. Well, you might help. Uh, I tried all the levers in it, and it didn't oh, seem to go problem. anywhere. We can try to go back to the village and get back to the submarine, see if we can't take that. Or the weird cart thing, yeah. Okay, say again. Oh, was there possibly another entrance there? There was still more path to go to the Oh, okay. I kind of want to ride in that thing backwards. I know that island is huge. This island is huge. Here. It seems like uh, there's a lot of stuff to do with. Lots of twisty turns. Actually, I don't... Yeah, I really don't care about the sound right now. Get going, Leo Pluridons. Ah, okay. Oh, that's another alarm. Really good job of like, matching them to uh, to the scenery. I have to say, some games like this do not do a good job of that, and this game did really well. Oh, um, 
Eye stone fish coaster. I stone village. D I. Okay. Is there? Yeah. Ah, I see oh. it. Okay. Interesting. That's actually well. Hmm. I don't know what that actually did for me just yet. We'll figure it out later, though. Wait a minute. Okay, interesting. Oh, hey, submarine! Here we go. This is where I really want to I have no idea what you're saying. You are super far away from your microphone. Uh, is it now time for your undersea adventure? Yeah! Under the sea! Full steam away! Bam! Into the water. I see, so we're taking left-hand tracks, okay. Ah, I see, so I can, I can decide between left-hand or right-hand. Interesting. Back under the sea. Ah. So right hand was the path I came from, so let's take the left hand again. I still have no idea what you're saying. from that air pocket, or from that ladder, rather. I don't know where that is.
pocket. That's not an air pocket. Closer to that one. There's a lot of air pockets. That's different. Nope. Ha! Turn them all off. I think I notice a difference. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think I notice a difference there. Um. I swear those houses are like. Not even big enough for one person. Right? Like, maybe one person can stand in the center of it comfortably, but you ain't getting anything else into that thing. Is there anything else in the so there's still a possibility of checking out what that is. Uh, no, not really. Hmm. Guess we're gonna have to keep looking. Yeah. Uh, game? You oh, wanna? Raise the ladder up. Oh, I okay. There we go. Okay, I get it now. Then let's take the left hand path again. It's a classroom. Oh, that's the the one eyeball stone. Interesting. I don't I don't like the look of that. I'm gonna not mess with that further. Uh, 
Hi there, Gin. Terekoi Dani, ki bayem rivat, al royem be tig tavom, ga bodona gayem. It's like what I expect somebody when to do when they pre-program a response. They oh, give yeah. say what? Bottle, it's like bottle phrase. Yeah, pretty much. It's like ah, he's with us always and it's like wind it up. He gives praise, looks around as though he's acknowledging something. I think there's anything else I can do there right now. Yeah, there is. Good boy. Say what? Boy. That? Yeah. Just gave me KI. DI. That was two. Okay, I see what's going on. So... That was... Eight, I think? Hold on. Yeah. Uh, D-I... Was two. I need a new blank sheet. Uh, okay, ready, let's see. So that is six. That's two. That's one. That's ten. Four. 
whatever. Damn, I want Jesus is with me because I never would on this thing. <laughs> don't actually know how much that was, but I know that it is a symbol. Okay. And that's 10. I find it very disturbing that their method of teaching numbers is how soon until this monster eats this person. Yep. Competitive hangman. Uh, yeah. Competitive human sacrifice. So that was six. That was ten. We've gotten six, two, one, ten, three, four, and five. So I need eight, I need seven, eight, and nine. If I can stop, if I can stop getting ten. Because when they get that low, you're not going to get that accurate. Yeah. That's three. That's one. Fucking ten, man. <laughs> We've gotten ten, what, five times now? Stop rolling quick. <laughs> Look, man, I really write you furied there, alright? Keep rolling quick on D10. <laughs> Six again. I completely didn't count how much that was. Eight. Eight? Okay, thank you. Hi, Shy Susie. Thank you for the follow. Uh, let's see. How did uh, how did the Overwatch go? Yeah, that's four again. Okay. Right, no, I've already gotten that one. Went good. Ended on a win because I got hungry. Well, fair enough. <laughs> Say what? Um, I am missing seven and nine. Don't tell me. We will sit here and depend on R and Jesus for the next five hours if we have to, Dan. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. So that's three. Aha! Five, six, seven, 
Seven. Okay, so I just need number nine. Nope, that's eight. Or was that nine? That was eight. That was eight? Okay. <laughs> this whole time and I haven't seen nine at all. Did I get that one? Yeah, that was five. <laughs> well, welcome to, uh, to the Sesame Street version of Myst. <laughs> We're learning our numbers and letters today, mostly our numbers. Today's episode is brought to you by the number one. One more until we feed this person to the fish. <laughs> hey, there it is. Yet. What? I said, have you noticed the pattern in the symbols yet? I've I've noted that there are a number of symbols that are very similar. Uh, oh, like how they combined two symbols to make nine. They combined four and five to make nine. Nice, okay. So three and five were combined to make eight. Ten was just on its own. <laughs> One and five to make six. Okay, yeah, that's kind of interesting. Congrats, you know your numbers. Yeah, now what the fuck is all this going around? Oh. It's their alphabet. Yeah. Okay, so that would be the A B C. D <laughs> we don't. We don't need to know it at all. <laughs> so you say, my friend, as I uncork this pen. <laughs> okay. A B. It doesn't even cover. C, it doesn't even cover D, every letter in the alphabet. F G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Okay, so A Oh man, these are actually really interesting little symbols. This is gonna take a minute, I apologize, folks. But god damn it, I am gonna spend some time and fucking translate some things. Mm -hmm. get to the hold on go to the center and wow I can't get a good look at it uh there it is okay D is D looks kind of like a D Now you're just being rude. <laughs> D looks kind of like a dick. No. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, 
Um, What's up? Looking at the new alphabet. Um, that's that's a symbol I've already seen. I downloaded um, the Denise font uh, online a few weeks ago. Yeah. That that they don't they don't have anything for uh, capital B, capital C, capital F, capital G, capital H, capital J. Any of the capitals that matter. It's all lowercase. Oh well. That is a terrible fucking drawing of that. Uh, let's see. I hope everybody is super interested in uh, learning this alien alphabet, because cause I'm only almost halfway there. I say alien, this kind of... It's under New Mexico, so it's not really alien. Well, no, world, Riven itself is its own world. Yeah, Riven is its own world, but Denis. Denis is under New Mexico. Yeah. So, like, the Denis language is from Earth. Mm, it's more like mutated over time. Yeah. They're their own civilization, so... Uh... Okay, so that got to L. So then I need to come over here... ...and see that one. Let's see... There's no Q. Your face is no Q. Uh, let's see. It doesn't help that some of these are very similar to each other. Yeah, because it's different. Fair. <laughs> now who's being rude? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> who's got two thumbs and is being rude? This. It almost looks like they repeated S twice. Mm -hmm. It helps, they don't have a letter for Q. Son of a bitch, I can't, I can't get a really good I can't get a really good look to see if those are actually different or not. Nah. You say they don't have a letter for Q, but I have so far gotten to uh, to the letter U. It's more like they don't have letters for V, W, X, Y, and Z. That too. Q V W X Y Z. Okay, now we test my note taking. Uh, let's see. Um, you 
can't understand their spoken language, what makes you think you can understand their written language? Yeah, to be fair, some of these symbols are not what's on the wall. It's less of, do I think I can understand their written language, and more of, did I match the letters? I mean, Dan, to give you an idea, in Payday 2, there was a brand new uh, secret that was put in where you literally had to translate an alien language. They gave you uh, the, the book to be able to do that, and um, me and Liz took an hour to, uh, to translate 20 different notes each of this, of this alien language. The secret was specifically getting 20 different achievements that you specifically are given, and you then have to collect those achievements in the game. The translations are the achievements that you are selected to, to have. And um, you need four people to actually do it. Uh, oh yeah, and, and uh, my buddy Techno, he also spent an hour translating as well. Uh, the only person who did not was our friend Stick, and I was in the process of translating his. I but uh, in a long time. say what? I haven't spoken in techno in a long time. Has it been that long? Pretty sure. Eh. But yes, I took an hour translating alien text, and half an hour to translate it for sticks stuff as well. But I never got to the end of sticks uh, different text. So one sec, this is gonna be loud. At least it's gonna be loud for me anyway. Where are we heading? Uh we're heading up this left path. Cause we should have we should have unlocked that. I do note that there were five levers, but I can only go on four paths. So that's very interesting. That's a pair of manacles. Mm -hmm. That, that is the human sacrifice. I don't like this village anymore. Well, um, There's a way to close that platform, but I don't remember how. Uh. Well, to be fair, uh, it has been the two hours, so I am going to I'm going to take a twenty minute just like snack and bathroom break, and we're going to switch this over to Yakuza Kiwami. So I'm going to save this here. Put that right there. Uh, let me see. Let me see. So, yeah, so we will we will switch this over to y Yakuza Kiwami. I'm gonna play a three minute ad break, and uh, from there we will uh, continue on after. So yeah, so I'll be back about about eight o'clock. 
That's that's when I'll be back. Mm-hmm. I guess that's uh I guess I have to bow out of the voice Yeah, I'm, chat, well but... I'm I'm gonna bow out of the voice chat, but yeah. Thank you for uh thank you for joining in. Always. Has a good one.